Typically, I strive to introduce you to different cultures through art. However, today our focus is updating you and expanding your knowledge about XR gaming. Firstly, we'll strive to explore the current state of VR gaming, which is currently the most popular form of XR gaming. And secondly, we'll discuss the exciting possibilities for the future of gaming, where advancements are continuously being made. And lastly, we'll acknowledge and appreciate the talented artists who contribute to the world of XR gaming. And in case you have any doubts about whether gaming can be considered art, I have already covered that in a previous video. Recent advancements in the industry have been significant. Cutting edge headsets like the Quest 2, HTC's Vive's XR Elite, Nico PO3, and Sony's PlayStation VR 2 have all been released just this year. And those platforms mean more availability for games and all sorts of experiences. Now, most of those headsets are VR Direct or VR Pass-Through. While AR technology does exist, most of the latest XR products are VR-based pass-through. This is because of improved resolution and clarity through the camera and better screens, just like Pokemon Go being on the latest iPhone. Now, this most recent revelation in the industry is that VR headset batteries can last long enough to make compelling AR experiences as well. This revelation is a little bit late right now to have some super compelling large-scale AR games, but rest assured, they're definitely coming. Hardware is just one aspect of XR gaming, and the industry has come a long way in terms of software development. Platforms like Unity have been king in XR technology until Unreal Engine, which is just now emerging as another strong contender thanks to all sorts of recent 5.1 development updates. And also, the streamlined development process could position Unreal Engine as a leading platform for future XR gaming. The bad news is, that despite the exciting technological advancements in XR gaming, the industry still needs to work on attracting a large following. Many potential customers need clarification on whether the immersive experience of XR gaming is worth the investment in expensive hardware and associated costs of purchasing games. Parallel advancing technologies like AI, cryptocurrency, and buzzwords like Web3 have muddled the public perception as marketers often need to lump those things together to get investors to give in. This could be nice, but we're seeing confusion as companies lose track of the real compelling offerings of XR gaming, and thus the slice of pie to create great games is rather small. Sales figures for popular XR devices like the Quest Pro and PSVR 2 reflect this as they struggle to retain users despite reaching 20 million units sold as companies think a killer app will just happen and they won't cut them a bigger piece of pie to invest in that. These economic challenges have a ripple effect on the industry. Reports indicate that companies like Pico and Tencent have laid off employees in their XR departments just as Meta has due to financial pressures, and there's more rumors that Meta will lay off even more employees, just as Microsoft and Google have done. Even those who bet on XR gaming are feeling the economic effects. It's a tough pill to swallow, especially for those who are already immersed in all of this. But the reality is, is that XR gaming is still considered a niche market, with limited availability of games and a relatively small player base. This has resulted in underwhelming hardware sales, leaving many potential customers on the fence about whether to invest in this technology. But it's not all doom and gloom in XR gaming. Despite the industry's challenges, there's a lot of optimism and excitement about the future. With continued advancements in hardware and software, we expect to see compelling and immersive XR experiences that'll bring more gamers to the market. Dedicated users knowing how amazing it is are growing the player base even as developers seek to challenge the current market. As technology advances become more mainstream, we anticipate more large game developers entering the market just like Sony to create exciting and innovative games that will draw on a broader audience. And with that, the extended reality market is still predicted to reach $446.6 billion by the end of 2031. The growth potential is enormous. What's more, XR technology is becoming more accessible and affordable. With the possibility of a release of subscription services like what's rumored as Meta's Quest Pass and the new PlayStation VR 2 launching with 40 plus new VR games, players will have more options than ever. So even though the industry is facing some economic challenges, there is a lot of potential for growth and innovation. As technology evolves, gamers can expect even more mind-blowing experiences with top-notch graphics and next-level hardware. The future of XR gaming is bright, and we can't wait to see what's in store for this exciting industry. As we wrap up this discussion on XR gaming, let's recap why it matters. XR gaming can indeed offer an incredible experience, but it, beyond that, it's about pushing the boundaries of this technology and human creativity to create worlds and characters that were once only possible in our imaginations. We've even seen XR technology talked about as escapism, but it has so much more potential and the ability to improve mental health by providing immersive therapy experiences and helping others 
with anxiety such as PTSD and other associated disorders. It can enhance education by providing learners with interactive and engaging experiences, from exploring ancient ruins to dissecting virtual frogs. XR technology can even aid in physical therapy by providing patients with fun and engaging exercises that help speed up their recovery. All of this is old news, and if you want to know more, links down below. Now, let's consider the power XR gaming brings. It's not just a niche market or a passing fad, but a technology that can change lives. In this exciting, ever-evolving technology, we can't wait to see what the future holds. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next video. Sources and links in the video description.